Welcome to the Belated Tech Channel's 42nd edition of the Tesla and SpaceX Redux. We are reviewing the milestones that occurred on each day in the week of July 5th through July 11th in the history of Tesla, SpaceX, Starlink, The Boring Company, and Elon Musk's other various business ventures. July 5th, 2017. The Intelsat 35E satellite was lifted to orbit on a Falcon 9 FT rocket, Booster 1037, from the Kennedy Space Center's Launch Complex 39A on this date. No attempt was made to recover the booster. The Intelsat 35E was originally expected to be flown on a Falcon Heavy, but improvements to the Merlin engines meant that the heavy satellite could be flown to geosynchronous transfer orbit in an expendable configuration of the Falcon 9. The Intelsat 35E is Intelsat's largest currently active satellite. July 6, 2016. Elon Musk tweeted near the state, quote, Because of course I hate flamingos. Maybe try eating fewer flamingo eggs in your salad. The Tesla CEO was responding to a hit piece published by the Economic Times titled, quote, How Elon Musk's Tesla Motors may be killing flamingos with its electric cars. The article alleged that Chilean mining companies were pumping water out of the local flamingo's environment near the Atacama Salt Flat in Chile to produce lithium. Despite the juicy headline, the article's author admitted she could not actually tie Chilean lithium to Tesla. Tesla has actually been trying to disengage from the international lithium mining industry since, looking to mine the metal in Nevada near its battery gigafactory. In September of 2020, the EV car company secured its own lithium mining rights in Nevada, purchasing access to 10,000 acres of lithium-rich clay deposits. Lithium has proven abundant in the state, although producing commercial quantities in a productive and cost-efficient manner has so far proven elusive. To that end, Tesla is focusing on development of a yet-proven process to extract lithium using sodium chloride, or table salt, instead of more expensive chemical reagents something that would make the process more efficient and less expensive. July 7th, 2019. Musk announced via Twitter on this date, SpaceX's long-planned Starship presentation and official unveiling. The company had been developing its interplanetary craft since 2012 and had flown an engine demonstrator unit called Starhopper starting in December of 2018. A set of crewed prototypes had begun construction at Boca Chica, Texas and Cocoa, Florida. The SpaceX CEO forecasted a late July date for the presentation. The presentation actually occurred on September 28th. Using a combination of a show and tell in a nighttime setting lit with floodlights, Musk stood in front of a full-size Starship mock-up and delivered a speech supported by a slideshow and set of video animations. For those that are interested, you can watch an edited version of the presentation in short two. July 8th, 2019. May Musk, Elon Musk's mother, made a rare appearance near the state at a SpaceX facility. In this instance, the Boca Chica engineering facility. She posted photos of her visit on Twitter. Elon followed up her tweet by identifying the two craft she was next to as the Starhopper and the Mark I Starship prototype. The oft-photographed and Canadian-born Mae Musk has been a professional model since she was a finalist in the 1969 Miss South Africa competition. She married Errol Musk in 1970, to whom she bore three children. Elon is the oldest. After divorcing Errol in 1979, she launched her own practice as a dietitian. She holds two masters in dietetics and nutritional science. She moved to Canada in 1989 with Elon's sisters Tosca, and then to San Francisco in 1996 to be closer to Elon and his brother Kimball. She currently lives in Los Angeles. July 9th, 2017. Musk tweeted a picture of the first production Tesla Model 3 near this date. It is hard to overstate the importance of the Model 3 to Tesla's future and Musk's overall business ambitions. Before the Model 3 and the derivative Model Y, 
Tesla was merely a novelty EV manufacturer that might never have made a penny in profit. Afterwards, Tesla was contending with the world's largest automobile manufacturers and even changing the industry, all playing catch up in electric vehicles. The company was also making money and was flush with cash raised from eager investors. Success from the Model 3 also enabled the company's complete redesign of its crucial battery technology, raising the bar for competitors eager to muscle in on Tesla's EV market share. The Model 3's success also arguably made it easier for SpaceX to raise money to continue operations. The spacecraft and rocket manufacturer was struggling to complete its commercial crew capsule for NASA, which was supposed to first launch in 2017, but was facing years of delays and had not increased its launch manifest to the point that its launch business was profitable. That all finally changed in 2020, when SpaceX successfully launched a crewed Dragon capsule to the ISS and boosted its Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launch manifest to more than 25 in a year. The interplanetary Starship craft is expected to make its first orbital flight this year. The rest, as they say, is history. July 10th, 2018. Elon Musk responded to some snark about his relevance on this date by tweeting, quote, I created jobs for 50,000 people directly and through parts suppliers and supporting professions, about 250,000 people indirectly, thus supporting half a million families. What have you done? Musk's impact on employment has grown since then. As of 2021, Tesla employs 71,000, SpaceX employs 10,000, and the boring company Neuralink and Musk's other ventures employ another thousand. The bulk of Musk's employees are in three countries, the United States, Germany, and China, although there are a number of other employees scattered around dozens of countries in various capacities. July 11, 2019. Motor Trend announced on this date that the 2013 Model S was Motor Trend's ultimate car of the year in the magazine's 70-year history. The media outlet said of its choice, quote, No vehicle we've awarded, be it car of the year, import car of the year, SUV of the year, or truck of the year, can equal the Model S's impact, performance, and engineering excellence. The mere fact that the Tesla Model S exists at all is testament to innovation and entrepreneurship, the very qualities that once made the American automobile industry the largest, richest, and most powerful in the world. That the 11 judges unanimously voted for the first vehicle designed from the wheels up by a fledging automaker should be cause for celebration. America can still make things. The runners-up included the 1996 Dodge Caravan, the 2004 Toyota Prius, the 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air, the 1949 Cadillac Series 62 Sedanette, the 1972 Citroen SM, the 1968 Pontiac GTO, the 1986 Mazda RX-7. At the Belated Tech Channel, we would add a few more to that list. The 1908 Ford Model T, the 1986 Ford Taurus, and the 1964 Ford Mustang arguably made Ford possible as an automobile manufacturer. The 1981 Dodge Aries and the Plymouth Reliant are the only reason Chrysler is still around as part of Fiat. The 1953 Chevrolet Corvette and the 1984 Pontiac Fiero are the two most innovative car models of General Motors, and the 1945 Wiley's Overland CJ2A marked the beginning of Jeep's legacy. You will find our coverage of our additional choices in Episode 16, Milestones 19, Milestones 94, and Episode 29. Before we get to the current event of the week, we wanted to see if you enjoyed this 40-second episode of Bladed Tech's Tesla and SpaceX Redux. If so, click that like button. Did you agree with our choices, or are there other events that were better? Go ahead and share with us by dropping a comment below. And if you have suggestions for an event in the future, we'll take those too. We'll credit events we pick for future videos to those viewers that post them. We hope you have been enjoying our content. Have we earned your subscription to our channel? If yes, and you have not yet taken the opportunity to subscribe, please take a moment to do so now and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss upcoming videos. 
We want to continue delivering great content to you. You can always unsubscribe, and subscribing is free. On July 1, 2021, the city of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, announced that the Boring Company had proposed, quote, to build an underground transit loop between the downtown and the beach. Called the Las Olas Loop, this represents an innovative and unprecedented approach to addressing traffic congestion and transit needs. Every project that the Boring Company has proposed has run into an intractable gauntlet of regulatory approvals. In fact, the tunneling outfit recently canceled its Baltimore to DC project. But now that the Boring Company has a first loop system in operation in Las Vegas, it's starting to catch the attention of other markets looking to address their traffic issues. The company also claims that its latest boring machine, Proofrock, can dig a mile a week, and the next generation machine will be able to drill seven miles per day, sharply decreasing the cost of boring tunnels. We'll keep you posted. Links to some of our most recent episodes can be found in the description section below. You can peruse our entire 250 plus video library by looking at our playlists, which conveniently sort videos by subject. We announce all new videos in our microblogging accounts, which are listed below, as well as in the community feed for this channel. Want to know how to navigate our channel content? We refer to RetroTech and Innovation Documentary segments as episodes. Coverage of current events in space exploration, science and technology are labeled as shorts. Space and tech history are documented in an anthology called Milestones. And gameplay recordings can be discovered on the Bladed Tech Gaming Channel in videos called Walkthroughs and Side Missions. Stay connected by occasionally checking our Instagram feed and Minds page, where we post content from our upcoming episodes and from episodes past that you may have missed, and where we cover current news and events related to channel content. Thanks for watching.